Adrian. I'm right here. Tell me who did this. It doesn't matter. It matters to me. I don't want to die without knowing. Shh. Tell me, Adrian. Okay. Here's what happened. Hello. Hello, excuse me. Excuse me, um, do you have a light? Hey, get out of there. Go. Go, ho, ho. Get. I hate pigeons, like rats with wings. There's no defensive wounds. Was there a struggle? How did, how did this guy get the gun? Well, that's a good question. The ME's gonna be here in a minute. We can ask him. What's this? Uh, this hasn't been here long. It's clean. That's a clove cigarette. They make them in Indonesia. People use them to try to quit smoking. They don't work. Drivers? Well, the driver has his own. I'm thinking it's the shooters. Mr. Monk, it's your brother. Ambrose, I can't. I, uh, tell him, I'll call him back. Tell him I'm busy. How old are you? Because I have a rule, no one older than 14. Only one per customer. Well, what are you doing? Only one per customer. Did you hear what I said? Only, no, no, only one per customer. Get out of here. Hey! Get out of here! Hey! Hey! Ambrose, are you okay? <laughs> Anybody tell me which way you ran off? He went that way. I saw him turn left on Hamilton Street. Uh, you sure you weren't hallucinating? Mr. Monk, he's 11 years old. He's not a real hippie. I got mine stolen, too, about 20 minutes ago. Mine, too. OK, I want all of you who had your candy stolen by Frankenstein to stand over here, and the others stand over here. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Here, right here. So why you, but not you? And why you, but not you? Maybe he's afraid of karate. <laughs> or maybe he's afraid of pirates. No, that's just stupid. How many of you stopped by my brother's house, the big gray house near the end of Oakview? You mean where the special man lives? He never comes out? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, where the special man lives. How many? He's only taking candy from kids who went to Ambrose's house? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Wait a minute. What? No. What? No. It's a cigarette. Like the one at the murder scene. It's a pigeon. Oh, no? does he look familiar? Does he look familiar? Take a closer look. At the murder scene, you kept shooing it away. This is that same pigeon. <laughs> Monk, you've had a tough night. Captain, you know, it... This is the same pigeon. I remember it had five little brown spots on its back because I remember thinking that it reminded me of the constellation Cassiopeia. Look, you see it? Look. OK, OK. You see? OK, it's the same pigeon. So what? Remember, it was eating something from right near the victim's hand. And now, five hours later, Dead. I think it's been poisoned. You want me to do an autopsy on the pigeon? Yeah. Mr. Monk, it's the captain. Hello. You were right about the pigeon. The 
bird was poisoned. I had them go back and do a talk scan on the armored car driver. Turns out he had been poisoned too before he was shot. The poison is called tetra a tetrachloridrine. Tetrachloridrine, very deadly. Stronger than arsenic. It's stronger than arsenic. Uh, it came straight from the lab. It hadn't even been diluted yet. And get this, we just talked to the plant manager here. Turns out some of this stuff had been stolen. They didn't realize it until today because they caught the guy trying to put it back. Wait, wait, he was putting it back? Yep, they had to let him go. He denied everything and they didn't have any evidence. Uh, guy's name is... Gil Strap. Gil Strap. He worked here part-time fixing computers. Gil Strap? Paul Gil Strap? Ambrose! Ambrose, don't eat the candy! I paid for it! No, spit it out! Spit it out! It could be poison. What? That's what this whole thing has been about. It's been spiked with tetrachloridrine. Is there a Neptune bar in here? Not anymore, there isn't. Oh my God, Nelly, call 911. Oh my God. I thought it would be funny. Tetrachloridrine? The guy down the street was trying to kill his wife. Too late. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Just get up. Get up Adrian, now. Natalie, Adrian, help me. Adrian, tetrachloridrine is a synthetic insecticide. Natalie, help me. There is no antidote. I'll be dead in five minutes. Adrian, I'm right here. I'm right here. Tell me who did this. Oh, it doesn't matter. It matters to me. I don't want to die without knowing. Shh. Tell me, Adrian. OK. Here's what happened. His name was Paul Gilstrap. He wanted to kill his wife. He worked at a laboratory where they made tetrachloridrine. Oh. And a few days ago, he stuck in there and he stole some of it. Ambrose, I met his wife when I went trick-or-treating with Julie. And she said that she ate a Neptune bar every night before bed. Oh. Gilstrap poisoned her candy, but he couldn't poison just one. He wanted to make it look like there was a serial killer on the loose, so he had to poison a lot of other candy bars, put them back into circulation. So his wife would just be another victim. That's right. It's a good plan. But he made a mistake. He got caught trying to put the poison back. Ruined everything. That's right, it ruined everything. Because now, if his wife or anyone else died from tetrachloridrine, they'd know it was him. So he was desperate. He had to get all of the poison candy bars out of circulation. He found them all, except for two. All right. The armored car driver. He had already taken a bite. If the driver had just dropped dead, Gilstrap knew there'd be an autopsy, so he had to think fast. He grabbed the driver's gun and shot him repeatedly. Who would bother looking for poison in a guy who'd been shot five times? But you left just one candy bar. The one I ate. That's right. He's been trying to get it back all night. Is that another Neptune bar? Where's the wrapper from the one he ate? It's right here. Uh, this one expired 11 months ago. That must be the candy bar left over from last year. From last Halloween? That's why it tasted funny. That's why <laughs> it tasted funny. So this, this is the, this is the poison. That's why it tasted <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's why it's nice and funny! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this is the... This is the one with poison. <laughs> I, I have a stomachache. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Paul Hulstra? Boo. You missed one. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.